Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Damrio. Welcome to Final Fantasy Type OHD. We are back. We are back to kick some more ass and we're playing as Nine because he has a cool lance. Actually, let's play as Ace. There we go. Ace is really cool. I like him. Let's continue down the line. I think we are going into more battles. Let's hear that report again. I wonder who that is. Sir, Vessel 6 has been confirmed destroyed. Looks like we have an anomaly on our hands. What about the 401st and 903rd? I can't reach either company, sir. Keep trying. Sir, Vyakuya 10, Vyakuya 10. This is Kusabi. Bring me that Spawn. survivor. The one from the 161st. Sir. These guys look a little bit like Garland Empire. Corporal Boz of 161st. So, you are certain you saw the enemy using magic? Uh, yes, sir. My understanding is that after witnessing this, you fled from the battle. Then your unit was annihilated. Is that correct? Yes. I, I felt it was my duty to report- In the Militesi army, we do not tolerate soldiers who flee from their fear. The 161st company was wiped out by Dominion magic. Clean us up. S sir! So even a Lassie like Kunmi cannot keep the Vermilion bird crystal in check. Kunmi. So we're looking for a scene named Kunmi hmm. then. Well, this sucks. Where'd these rats crawl out from? <laughs> oh, that might be Kunmi. That's a Lassie symbol. <clears throat> This really sucks. He or she just repaired those machines. Just like that. Okay. Holy crap. The wicked white tiger Lassie is headed for the arena. Okay, dodge. Just freaking run and dodge. See how much damage we can do in this to this thing. Okay, that will do a lot of damage actually. Wow, that's awesome. Dodge that. And fire spawn. Nope. Okay, so we got a fire card. Dodge that again. Hell yeah. Alright. Horus Phantasm. There we go. Let's go for the next one. Oh god, you guys alright? I hope you guys are alright. Got the next one here. What do we got? We got a white card? Shit. Get out of here. Let's get a red card. There we go. That's what we need. Dodge that. Alright. Another red card. Come on. Red card. Give me a red card. Give me a red card. Give me a red card. Need a red card. Nope. We can't do any more cards then. Huh. Oh, we stopped this time though. That's nice. Sweet. Ho oh, ho. I need to look up on the AP gauge. The AP gauge on the right. Let's see. If I'm facing the microphone, then I should be here, I think. I think it's this AP gauge over here, the yellow one. Yeah, that's what we that's what I need to look at. The AP gauge will allow me to do more things or less things. That's my MP, I think. Uh, if we don't go here... Oh, there's something over there. I see something sparkly. Let's grab that. <clears throat> Fortified ration. Not bad. Uh, anything else around here for us to grab? These things we don't need. Alright, we got everything. Alright, Queen 9. Let's head over this way, I guess. Something's over there. I saw something being electrocuted or something. The arena. There are some cadets in the arena up ahead. We have to save them. Alright. Sucks. 
same old routine. Try something new. <laughs> Let's end this right now. <laughs> now then, Hell yeah. <clears throat> they summoned here? Inside my jammer field? How? Damn, that looks awesome. <gasps> Moonring Blade, Broad Slice, Zantu... San we get to play as Odin! Holy crap, we get to play as a summon creature. That is amazing. We got 9,999 HP. We're level 99. We have 4,875 MP. Oh my god, this is amazing. Moonring Blade, Broad Slice. Alright, that's X. Zante... Suken, Death Slash, hold button to charge, that's A. Cavalier Charge is Forward Thrust, and then Prance is Quick Sidestep. Yeah, let's try this. Oh my god, this is amazing! Let's see if we can pounce on this thing. Oh, hell yeah! See, what can we do with this thing? Oh, we got some enemies here. Let's get them. Did we miss it? Oh, damn it. I think we missed. Oh, shit. Hold on. Okay, let's charge it up. Oh, we missed again? Are you kidding me? We shouldn't have missed. Let's see. Let's see if we can get this thing. Oh, that has a lot of damage. That's nice. Oh, shit. Okay, back up, boy. Dodge all that, dodge all that. I wonder if we dodge that or not. So we can go around it. Nope. I don't think you know what Odin can do. Odin seems pretty damn tough. Let's get this guy over here. Oh shit. Got some more Imperial troops over here. Oh damn it, we could talk. We took some damage. It's not good. I wonder if we missed that or not. I, I think we did. Let's see if we can get to this thing. Dodge that, dodge that, dodge all that, dodge all that. We're good, Odin. We got it, we got it, we got it. Odin, my boy, Odin, my boy. Be gone, I think we keep missing with that attack, actually. I don't think that's good. I think we keep missing with that attack. Let's see if we can get some of these guys over here. Let's go for you. Got you. Killed you. Let's keep attacking like this. I think we almost took it out. Oh god, oh god, we took some damage, took some damage. That's not good, that's not good. Let's see if we can advance towards it. it slices, we'll just, just regular slices. We do lots of damage against it, that's for sure. Okay, it's all it's down to its last bits of health. Down to its last bits of health. Dodge all that, dodge all that, dodge all that. Odin, Odin, buddy, Odin, just keep dodging that. Keep dodging all that. Hell yeah! That's how we do it, Odin! Yeah! That's what we do, buddy! That's how Summon Creature defeats a Lassie! Hell yeah! That was amazing!
start over? Also not. Is this the power of a Lassie? The party has changed. All right, what do we got here? We got okay. We still got Ace. You're targeting us. Alright, so we got a timeout attack the best we possibly can. See if you can get a red going. Come on, give me red, give me red, give me red. Got yellow. Got all yellows. Nice! Critical hit. Nicely done, nicely done. Can I get a red? Give me red, give me red. Yeah! The mass back online, we just have to take it down again. Oh, this thing is down again. Stun that. Nice! Finish her off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's how we do it! Can we harvest it? What can we do with it? Nothing. We can just lock onto it. Was close one. A port card. Wow. E B B. Mission grade C. You know what? I'll take it. I gotta say, this game is so fun. The graphics are not next gen. Sure, it, it is a remake of a PlayStation Two game. But oh my god, is this game freaking fun! I love it. I love the combat. It actually, kind of partially reminds me of Kingdom Hearts a little bit. It's like a pseudo Kingdom Hearts, but not really. I absolutely love this game. This is so fun. This is really fun. Covers a bunch of things. Got some mega elixirs and stuff. <laughs> this sucks. And just like that, Lissy is dead. Wow. Who are you people? Those red cloaks. No way. N Ninetail is down! Communication lost with Kunmi! Impossible. What's going on out there? The Vermilion Bird Crystal is fully restored. Magic readings in all sectors. Wait, point sixty-eight. A Lassie? A Vermilion Bird Lassie! I've lost contact with the 204th and 208th! Get our men out of there! Attention all units in Dominion territory! Halt all military operations! And withdraw at once! Retreat! Retreat! Send HQ a code 991. We're transitioning to Operation Northern Dawn. Sir! Hmm. To come this far just to be turned back. Six hours into the operation. Rubrum's Agito Cadet Class Zero achieved its objective. And the Dominion succeeded in taking back its territory. It was here that Class Zero made its first mark in the pages of history. Class zero, everybody. Misfortune has befallen academia and the dominion at large. The Militesi Empire has broken the quadripartite Crystal States Pact, which was forged through the courage and wisdom of our forebearers. Because of this deplorable, gravely unwarranted, and unforgivable breach of faith, we have all lost many friends and loved ones. And yet, here I stand before you, proof 
that your strength of heart, your pure and noble desire to protect our beloved Rubrum and the Vermilion Bird Crystal was strong enough to win academia back from our enemy. I wish to express my heartfelt gratitude to the valiant warriors who accomplished this great feat. However, we must also not Okay, I was waiting I was waiting for this dialogue to just kind of ramble on, on its own, but see if you can interact with people. forces that still unlawfully occupy our territories and liberate our villages, cities, and citizens that continue to suffer at the hands of the Empire. Rubrum is not in this alone. All of Orients must confront this challenge. I hope that you will all remember this as a new... Chancellor! Anathemic readings in Lorca. What? <sighs> One day, historians may refer to this as Tempus Finis. Hm. Nonsense. This is not the beginning of the end. It is the first ray of hope, one that we've brought forth. In 842 RG, an Ultima bomb, powerful enough to obliterate an entire continent, was dropped on the Black Peristilium in Lorica. In the blink of an eye, the Lorican Alliance, which had stood proud for 700 years, was completely erased from the continent of Orients. Holy shit. God damn, save your progress? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> there's, there's no way I don't want to save my progress. Alright, this... yeah. Is that it? Okay. Raise the Vermilion Banner. Chapter 2, we're moving on. Fearing an attack with a second Ultima bomb, the Kingdom of Concordia, home to the Azure Peristilium, began defending the airspace over its territory and that of the Dominion of Rubrum. Concerned the war might spread to other nations, Concordia sought an immediate cessation of hostilities, but was rejected outright by the Dominion of Rubrum. With large portions of land occupied by the Empire, the Dominion was reluctant to accept a ceasefire, as that would be a silent concession to the Empire's act of aggression. The Consortium of Eight, Rubrum's supreme ruling council, spent several days debating how to recover their lost territory. With our force's current state, do you really believe we can defeat the Empire in a full-scale conflict? We'll have to abandon our outer territories and focus on defending the capital and retaking key strategic areas. We can make up for our disadvantage in numbers with the sea. The Empire already unleashed the sea on us during this invasion. We're lucky that it wasn't a Primus. If they want to throw dirt at us, I say we just throw it right back at them. My, you quite the sense of humor. Do you really think a lessee would accede to the wishes of the Consortium? Why not? The Vermilion Bird Crystal was attacked by an enemy lessee. It was put in danger. There's no way that its lessee could refuse to aid us in this situation. 
And if the Lassie operated by that logic, you might actually have a point. Only the Vermilion Bird Crystal has the power to direct the Lassie to help us. And the wills or wonks surrounding that do not a productive discussion make. Might I offer a suggestion? I understand the cadets who were involved in the liberation of the capital were unaffected by the jammer and managed to repel the White Tiger Lassie. Can we create more soldiers with the same magic technology used to create them? We can... Are we just gonna replicate Class Zero? Sorry I'm late. You can't simply repeat what I've done with the children. And the tech itself is classified. Disclosure is out of the question. <sighs> Dr. Aratia, have you learned anything about the Crystal Jammer? Very little, I'm afraid. I can say with certainty, though, that no human could operate the Jammer. It would take a lessee. However, my scanners haven't detected any major disruptions since Lorica's little disappearing act. Based on the data, I believe that something has happened to the lessee, and the jammer is inoperable. Even if that's true, do you have an actual plan to get us out of this current mess? Just deploy the cadets. Huh? <laughs> I believe that is the best way to turn the tide of battle without compromising our defenses. D uh, undeniably, the Agito cadets would make for a potent implement of war, but... Would it not be seen as an expansion of the role of those defending the Peristylian? Oh, if the sea won't help us, what choice do we have? Very well. Shall we defer to the Chancellor's judgment? The Dominion's very existence is imperiled. Each of us will be put to trial. Even the Agito cadets. And if Rubrum is at stake, they would welcome those challenges. Very well, then. Shall we make it official? I guess they're weaponizing the, uh, Class Zero. Fountain Courtyard, wow. This looks already really pretty. God, even though the graphics are not the best, it's still really pretty. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, should we talk to some of the students here? Is it true that Class Zero is able to withstand the influence of the Crystal Jammer? Uh, I guess, yeah, sure. When we were able to summon the giant Odin guy, that was actually pretty awesome. My friend told me that a lessee from the invasion was a Secundus. Secundus? Apparently, she had the ability to enhance the power of any weapon, like those MAs. Oh, I guess that would kind of make sense why she was able to repair some of the weaponry and some of the siege machines. Hello there. From Ak yeah, This is Aki. Wow, I didn't believe the rumors about crimson clad cadets uh, thrashing the white tiger to see, but here you are. Class Zero, in the flesh. I'm Aki from Class First. It's an honor. Why don't I show you around? This is Academia. Academia? Yeah. Home of the Vermilion Peristylium. Your home world should be just through the entrance and down the hall to the left. Home room, not home world. <laughs> you haven't met with your CEO yet, have you? You won't be officially registered as a cadet until you do, so I would head there first. Follow the mark on your map to reach your next destination. Our privileges come with plenty of responsibilities too. With cadets are all he But we cadets are all God I can't read. But we cadets are all here to look out for each other. So don't be a stranger. Okay, so on the right or above me should be the minimap. We'll go forward into the main building, then left, then left. Right? I think so. Walk around here for a bit. Let's, let's go discover. Hello there. 
Did you see that flying ship pass by? Whoosh! Right across the sky! Gee, it would be cool to ride on one of those. Maybe. Hello there. Why would anyone want to start a war in the first place? We were all completely content and leading peaceful lives up until now. Who's that over there? Hello. Probably guard that says we can't go this way. Hello? Sorry, cadet. This area is still under repair. Oh, yeah. I knew so. I knew. <laughs> I guessed just as much. Hey, the girls. What are you up to? Militas deployed their LC during the invasion. But where were ours? Where were our LC when we needed the protection? Not as a player. Fully sure. Hey, we are the. What the people with the bird crystal? Yeah. Or the phoenix crystal? It's one of those. Let's see. Is there a point to talking to any of the students? Probably not. Uh, we already, I think we talked to you, I'm not sure. Have we? You look familiar. Did she just... I think she just walked through us. Uh, there was a Moogle somewhere around here that I saw. Where is that Moogle? Was he around here? I saw him a second ago, I don't know where he went. He was right here. I, I, I thought I saw him. Oh, there he is! Hello, Moogle! Hi! Hey, little, little guy. Or oh, Koopu, not Moogle. Well, Moogle, yeah, it is Moogle. Yeah, class first Moogle. I don't believe we met before, Koopo. I'm the Moogle in charge of first class. I don't think we met, bud. Hello. Let's get to the entrance. So, from here in the main courtyard, we should turn left and head left. Yep, there's our signal. That, not signal, signet. Okay, so now that we're at the entrance, we should turn left and head over left. Uh, do we go through the door? I think we go... Yeah, I think we go through the door, actually. Hallway. Now from here... Never mind. There you are, Ace. I've been waiting for you, darling. Before you officially register as a cadet, there's something your mother would like you to know. Mother? Wow, alright. I have to warn you that two new cadets will be joining your dears in class zero. They may, they may don the same crimson capes, but don't be fooled, they are nothing like you. You've been doing an excellent job collecting Phantoma. Those two new kids will be assisting in the harvest, but they don't know what Phantoma is, and I would prefer if they remained unaware. Other than you 12, only a handful of elite researchers are private to information about Phantoma. Your dears receive certain privileges because you are special, but those two new ones are not. Our research is strictly confidential, and I would hate for any secrets to get out. So do your poor mother a favor and keep this information to yourself. You will do that for me, won't you, darling? Sure. Mom? I guess? <laughs> oh, there we go. Nice safe station, right over here. Uh, save right here. Save over this. Oh, there we go. Alright. And I think, yeah, we go through this room. Classroom Zero. Let's go meet the class! Looks pretty nice. Alright, so what are we doing here? Uh, I guess I'll just start talking to everybody. Talk to. Oh, wait, no mind. All right, let's cut through the formalities. I am now your commanding officer, Kurosame. Commanding officer? Yes. As of this moment, you are under my command. The authorization came directly from Arch Sorceress Oratia Alratia. From Mother? Hey. Take a hike, yo. We only take orders from Mother. Got it? You're not wanted here, yo- <laughs> Damn. Ow, oh, you son of a bitch. That hurt! Why you? That's enough! <laughs> This guy is pretty tough. Yeah. 
Holy shit. Not for long. He said it was mother's decision. Are you saying you won't follow mother's orders? Satisfied? Good. Henceforth, you will execute Dominion missions under my command. When you have no assignment, you will live here, at Academia, with the other cadets. On campus? Yes. We never had to do that before. Why start now? Does that come from Mother, too? Yes. Those are Dr. Horatia's orders. Hmm. Also, Cadet Machina, Cadet Rem, enter. Oh yeah, the two new extra students. Two new cadets have been assigned to Class Zero, starting today. Machina Kunigiri, hello. Rem Tokimia, nice to meet you. Let me guess, chaperones? Your time is yours until you receive further orders. I have high hopes for you. May the crystal guide you. Good to see you again. Thanks for the assist the other day. Yeah. Thanks so much for helping us out. Seriously, though, I can't believe Class Zero is real. Why, my friends and I were sure yourselves were just one of Academia's urban legends now we were. And you're so powerful. Just three of you took down all the sea. Oh, which reminds me. Why were you able to use your weapons in that? All right then. Let's see what do we do? Time for mission six hours. What can I do in six hours? Talk to you. Starting today, I'll be relaying mission information and instructions from the Dominion. I am the military operation organization and guidance logistics expert. Mughal for short, Kubel. Some prefer to call me the military operation guide or Mog, Kubel. You can call me whatever you want. I hope to be of service, Kubel. Oh my god. What I want? How about... Moglin! 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 Lin! N no Kubel. No Lin, Kubel. B -b besides I do have a proper name, Kubel. Hmm? What is it? Hatskamine lotayosna iribochi, Kubel. Hmm. That's too hard. Moglin's good enough. G -g good enough, Kubo. Oh my God! It is freaking cute. Kubo. To get to the cemetery. Okay, first A. Why are you flailing around like that? <laughs> that does not look right. Looks like something is really wrong with you. <laughs> to get to the cemetery. Why would I want to go to a cemetery as well? Anyway, to get to the cemetery, head out the door over there and through the rear garden. Why is he flailing around? <laughs> or she? I'm not sure. Do, even, do Mughals even have genders? Many of brave men and women gave their lives for us in their li liberation. You should offer them a prayer of thanks, Kupo. After all, you can't start thinking about the future until you pay homage to the past, Kupo. I guess it makes sense. All right, so we have to go to the the garden. Or oh. can we stay with you, or is it just info? Hi there. I don't believe we've met before. <laughs> My name is Deuce. King. Are you? What? Arya? So, your name is Arya? <laughs> no, what a shy little girl. Alright, I'm uh, just gonna let her be then, I guess. Uh, we're supposed to go to a cemetery. It's to go up. I don't think you can get... well, unless... Can I go through the door in the back? Hallway. Uh, maybe it's the side entrance over here. Back garden. Yeah, that's where it is at. Uh, let's talk to the queen over here. Hello, queen. 
Mother brought me to visit Academia. Wait, acad yeah, Academia a number of times in the past, but never once did she mention anything about officially registering to live here as a cadet. Alright then, I'll see you later, Queen. Let's head over to the hallway. I know you're itching to explore Academia, but if, if it wasn't for those brave men and women who give the last in liberation, there wouldn't be any Academia left to explore, Koopa. Head over okay, so we have to get to the cemetery. So let's head over out this door. I love the music by the way. Final Fantasy always has one of the best songs ever. I absolutely love them. Uh main is that where we go? Yeah, cemetery. What do we got here? We got not sure who you I'm are. Busy. Please make it quick. Trey. Uh what in Orient is said Oslin thinking? I thought a crystal jammer was heinous enough, but the Ultima Bomb is simply inex Cursible. All right then. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not ready for the like the intensive reading, to be honest. It's not that intensive, but I end up tripping up on words what way is too this often. Place? It's called a cemetery. What's a cemetery? Here we carve the names of the fallen, so their legacies may live on. Because we are unable to retain memories of those who die before us. But I heard that the crystal removes our memories to help us. So that the living won't be tied down to the dead. That's why we leave our knowing tags behind before we go to battle. As proof that we lived. If no one comes to pick up a tag, it means that person died. Then that name is engraved here. As the name of someone who died for the Vermilion Bird. I always make sure to write down the names of everyone that I meet. Or go out on a mission with. Then after a mission, I check to see if there are any names I don't recognize. If there are names there that I don't remember, then I come here and look for the people I once knew. But I still can't remember them. Quite a conundrum. Can't remember the dead. Uh, that's it, right? We've already done everything. Ram and Machina? Yeah, they just passed through here. They're probably visiting someone's grave at the cemetery. I wonder whose. Some events of Academia can only be triggered by using certain characters. Change active members at Relic Terminals. Relic Terminals. Where would somebody find out? I think maybe a Relic Terminal might be this way? Let's head back into the hallway, see if we can find it. Have you finished offering your prayer, Kupo? Let's learn how things work here in Academia. On mission days, Central Command will issue sortie orders and you'll be on your way, Koopo. Until then though, you can use your free time to talk to whomever and go wherever you please, Koopo. You have 12 hours of free time in one day. Pay attention to characters with the following icons. Necessary for proceeding further in game. Initiates an event but uses 2 hours of free time. Offers tutorials and hints of proceeding further in the game. And provides a particular service while selling items. Offer tutorials and hints for proceeding further in the game. Uh, when mission day arrives, your CEO will call you in, Koopo. Then he'll explain your orders and you will march off to battle, Koopo. When you're just when you're just itching to start your mission, go to go find Tachinami in Central Command, Koopo. I'm sure he'll be more than happy to help. So talk to him and he'll get you ready to march right away, Koopo. You can also just confirm your next sortie orders, Koopo. That way you will know the difficulty level of your next mission, Koopo. If you don't think you're strong enough yet, then keep training hard until mission day, Koopo. You won't learn anything in Academia if you don't know your way around, Koopo. Now that you're officially registered as a cadet, you're free to use the Great Portal in your entrance, Koopo. So go on and have a look around, Koopo. I have a special present for you once you've explored all of Academia, Koopo. And don't be shy about chatting with the other cadets, Koopo. I got another gift once you see lots of exclamation events, Koopo. I just know you'll love it here at Academia, Koopo. Thanks, Moogle. Appreciate it. Let's head over into the hallway. I don't know if there's... Oh, I guess we can just kind of like free roam. That would be kind of nice. We got six hours until next mission. Gotta kill time somehow. Well, for now, you know what? What I can do is just save right here. Oh, uh, never mind. Can't save. <laughs> What's this? It's a relic terminal, Kubo. A what? Relic. An artifact shrouded in mystery. Said to be born of the Vermilion Bird Crystal. I've heard it has the power to manipulate time and space. That's according to some legends, Kupo. In the Dominion, we sync them with magic and use them for data input and communication, Kupo. You can save your data. 
and such, Kupo. If I'm not mistaken, cadets can do all of that with the naturally occurring relics all over the world. That's right, Kupo. If you find one, you should check it out, Kupo. What a nonchalant way to kind of be like, hey, this is your save station. You save here at the save station because it's a save station for save stations. <laughs> Seriously, like, way to be way too obvious about that it's a save station. Like, I get it. Reserves, organize reserve members. Okay, some of them are level 10. Okay, so what do we got here? We got Ace, Deuce, Trey, Carter, Klee, Clink, Size, 7, 8, 9, Jack, Queen, King, Machina, and Rem. I actually, I believe, I was actually correct when I said that uh, the members' names are organized by the card names, like a deck of cards. Change equipment and abilities. Alright. I'll play around play around with that sometime later. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode right here. I think we've done a decent amount of exploration and we destroyed our very first Let's see We're in a very, very epic battle. Anyway, when we come back, I will explore more of this place and you'll come with me and we will see what the rest of this map over here, I think I'm pointing in the right direction, uh has in store for us. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I th thoroughly enjoyed this game. This game is amazing, incredible, and fun. It's just so fun. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and go. My name is Samriel. Like, subscribe, and as always, have a great day. See ya. Hey there, my name is Samriel. I hope you enjoyed the video. And also, I'd like to say thank you for supporting the channel the way you do. All the views and likes are really appreciated. Would you like to support the channel further and possibly develop the channel to have better quality videos? Videos in 1080p, live stream schedule set up. Or maybe you're just a generous person who is willing to support the channel for what I do here. Well, if you'd like to support the channel and would like to become a patron for the channel's Patreon, you are welcome to. Any contribution will go into the channel to improve things such as frame rate, resolution, and upload speed, and possibly set up a live streaming schedule for the channel. If you'd like to learn more about this, check the link in the description for the Patreon page. And any contribution, even a dollar, is very much appreciated. Thank you so much for checking out the link.